surprise visit by Nemesis in today's exciting adventure mean the end of the Star Sheriffs? Turn in their EBUs? Dismantle Ramrod? Yes! Jesse Blue's old loves and new schemes spell trouble with a capital T. When Commander Eagle returns to the new frontier in this exciting adventure of Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs. Saber Commander Eagle had long been a captive of the evil Outriders. Now, at last, we were bringing him back to planet Yuma. But what he told us when he returned came as a surprise, even to the top generals of Cavalry Command. That's them, the Star Sheriffs. Tell them we're standing by. Right. You a Ramrod. You a Ramrod. Come in, Ramrod. We hear you, Yuma, and we're on our way in. Yes, ma'am. Oh, when they kidnapped Commander Eagle, I didn't think we'd ever see him again. I don't know how they found him. Only the Star Sheriffs could have done it. I'm free, and I'm so lucky to be alive. And now, because I have survived, I must make my life count. Hey, race boy, soon as we drop off Eagle, what do you say we head back and finish off those Outriders, huh? Right, we'll send them back to their own dimension, if not farther. I'm afraid I can't authorize that kind of mission. What? What do you mean? They raid us and we raid them back. Nothing ever comes of it. We've got to find another way. But... what way? Yeah. I know you're trying to be nice and all, but remember, they're the ones that started this. We're just trying to use a little frontier persuasion to change their minds. This is not a game. Our planet's in danger. Colt, it really doesn't matter who started it. What does? That we find a way to stop the fighting so we can save our people, and their people as well. But they're not people, they're vapor beings from another dimension. You know that, Commander. Whoever they are, we must make peace with them. We're approaching the planet, Top Sword. Carry on. Right. Here we go, boys. sight for sore eyes. You too. Come on in and take a load off your feet. He sure picked up some funny ideas. My father's ideas are not funny. Well, if it isn't old King Jare. Fireball, your mission was a great success. Just took a little frontier spirit. I want to hear all about it. How did you find him? Well, Saber Rider scoped him out. But we had a pretty rough landing, and there was a really ugly welcoming party. Once we got inside, April led the way. The father had found the Outrider Vapor Tower, but this creepy Commander Dark was trying to catch him. We had to do some pretty fast thinking and fast shooting, but somehow we managed to fight our way out of there. When April and her dad finally got back together, well, 
Even I got a little misty-eyed. Daddy! April. I guess that's what being a star sheriff is all about. Thank you. It is because of the star sheriffs that I've returned safely. But now that I'm here, I have some things to tell you. Things which may shock you. Please be seated. While I was a fugitive, many outriders helped me. Their people want peace just as much as we do. This is their planet, which they've brought into our dimension. But why? Because they're running out of energy, and soon they'll be completely drained. What? That's perfect. Time to attack them. Yes, it is a perfect time to attack them, or a perfect time to make peace. Make peace with them? They're vapor beings. I wonder what you gentlemen would say if I told you that we and these vapor beings have a common ancestry. You see, I learned the history of the Outriders. Long ago, there was a great space storm that separated them from their people, forcing them into another dimension where they built the Moe heads, an ancient symbol of their people. We have the same heads right here. Is it possible? Outriders, they're made out of vapor. They've adapted to their environment according to the theories of evolution. They're still our enemies. What's that? The Outriders, they're trying to force their way onto our comm lines. You see there, they're up to something, Commander. Before we leap to conclusions, let's find out what they have to say. Trail boss Smirk. <gasps> I hope you had a nice vacation on our base, Commander. Though it's no planet fun or armor. What do you want? I want to introduce your friends to the Supreme Trail Boss. Nemesis. <laughs> you know, I thought a war with you humans would be entertaining. Entertaining? You destroyed my planet. And mine. You're a monster. Enough. What's your point, Nemesis? My point is, this war isn't as entertaining as I thought it would be. In fact, it's downright boring. So I've decided to put an end to it. We'll sign a peace treaty. I'll send Jesse Blue to deliver it. Jesse Blue? He's a traitor. That doesn't matter now. He's their emissary, and that's all that counts. <laughs> yeah. If your terms are reasonable, we'll consider them. It's a trick. That's a possibility. But if we don't take that chance, then there is no chance. <laughs> we know you're running out of energy. What's a little energy among friends, eh, Commander? I'll send Jesse along. Happy trails. <laughs> Are you all right? Yes, thank you. I'm still a little weak from my captivity, but I beg you to support this truce. But Commander, if they're running out of energy, they'll need a new place to live. We'll find a place to settle them. Perhaps here on planet Yuma. I want to end this war before we lose any more civilians, cavalrymen, or vapor beings. I hope I can count on you. All of you. So, Jesse, are you up for a little trip to Planet Yuma? Why not? They'll have to treat me like a VIP, <laughs> even though I know they can't stand me. I don't get this true stuff. What are we trying to do? What are we trying to say? All we are saying is give peace a chance. If we don't like it, we can always change our minds. Inside, they're talking for hours. It's a big decision. King Jeray, is the conference over? What's the decision of the council? Is there a peace plan? What's the school? Well, hey, wait a minute. There's more. The cavalry commander. Are the Outriders coming? What are they saying? Peace with the Outriders? Come on, you gotta be kidding. Oh, far from it, Fireball. 
I've never been so serious in my life. But why, Commander? We know them, Daddy. They're always looking for a way to conquer us. People can change. Not people, outriders. April, you've seen them only as soldiers, but I've seen them in their homes and communities. They seem to want a lasting peace just as we do. I think they rattled your brain. Colt, my mind has never been as clear. Fighting only leads to more fighting. We must break the cycle. I get your point, Commander, but I'm still very worried. So am I, because fighting is simple. Someone wins and someone loses. But peace is hard because for peace to work, everyone must win or everyone loses. I need your support. Hmm. All right, Commander. You can count on the Star Sheriffs. Well, howdy! Ah! Hey, come back here! Ah! All right, I'm ready. I'm ready, too. Uh-huh. You cowboys always want to fight somebody. Oh, ma'am, I, I didn't know... <laughs> Robin? Well, you weren't that quick, but at least you remembered. Remember? How could I forget? He never forgets a pretty phone number. I still remember how you star sheriff saved my schoolhouse. Right. Well, Fireball's got a vamoose now, don't you, pard? Huh? And, uh, Saber, I know you're real busy now, too. Busy? He means busy getting out of his way. Right. <sighs> See you around, Robin. Bye. You owe me for this. You know... You get prettier all the time. In fact, I think you're getting prettier right before my eyes. You don't have to flatter me, Colt. Then again, a little flattery doesn't hurt. But I mean it. Every word. Oh, do you? There's more time now. I mean, for you and me. Oh? And why is that? Because we're making peace with the Outriders. No more fighting. That's wonderful. But you don't seem very happy. I'm just having trouble getting used to the idea. Colt, do you remember what you told Joshua? Uh... He admired you so much because you're a star sheriff. But you told him something very important. We don't fight because we want to, only because we have to. I said that? I'll be. You said some things to me too, Colt, that were quite sentimental. Me? No, I'm not sentimental. But you are. Why, well, I mean, uh... I didn't do anything I shouldn't have, did I? Colt! <gasps> Come on, we need you! Uh, I'm afraid Mr. Colt is out of the office right now. So is Mr. Blue. He's on his way here. I don't even know anybody named Blue. Except for Jesse? You got it, pal. He's the Outrider's emissary. Now I've heard everything. Mm-hmm. All right. Robin, I'm sorry. Real sorry. I, I can't tell you how sorry I am. Forgive me? Maybe. You're the best. Now, go on. I really am sorry about this. Awful sorry. Sorry. <sighs> there it is. The Batlander. Jesse's ship. <laughs> Welcome. This way, Mr. Blue. Shucks, howdy. Yeah, right. Shucks, howdy yourself, Mr. Diplomat. And just you remember, we got our eye on you. Have a nice day. The guy's definitely got an attitude problem. Well, gentlemen, I haven't seen so much brass since I was a Star Sheriff cadet, before I switched sides. Jesse, we're not here to chit-chat. We're here to drop a truce. You guys are just as spit and polish as ever. You've come as an agent of Nemesis. What are his terms? Well, we want to get rid of Ramrod, dismantle it, and break up the Star Sheriffs. Well, that's downright preposterous. We can't do that. Well, you can't have peace if you're not willing to disarm. 
Now that should be obvious. Of course, we'll get rid of our weapons as well. No more Outriders. How does that sound, gentlemen? Fishy! Of course, I can go back and tell Nemesis you didn't like his idea. And we all keep our weapons and keep on fighting until both our planets are destroyed, if that's the way you want it. We'll accept his terms. But Commander Eagle, we need the Star Sheriffs. We formed the Star Sheriffs for peace. Now, if we have to disband them for peace, then that's what we'll do, gentlemen. It was the Star Sheriffs who rescued you, Commander Eagle. They have saved us all time and time again. You forget, my own daughter, April, is a Star Sheriff. And I assure you, she wants peace as much as we do. But she... We can't go back. Jesse, we'll break up the Star Sheriffs and scrap Ramrod. But in return, I want to see every one of your weapons destroyed with my own eyes. No problem, Commander. If I can see Ramrod when they take it apart. Agreed. What? Have you gone loco? The Star Sheriffs will never break up. You'll still be here, Fireball. You just won't be a fighting force. What are we gonna be, a Chinese checkers team? You'll be friends, honored friends, helping us build a new frontier where there's peace and freedom for everyone. Daddy, what about Ramrod? I know you designed it, April, and it served us well, but it'll have to be scrapped. I hope this is the right move. Right move? This is checkmate. Easy. Easy, my foot. We're up a creek and they're taking away our paddle. I'm very sorry you feel that way, Colt, but I must ask you for your EBUs. I guess we'll just have to hope it works out. Thank you, Fireball. I know this isn't easy to accept. <gasps> Colt! Let him go, Fireball. He just needs to cool off. I just hope he's the one who's wrong, and not us, you know? It's time to take Ramrod to Planet Alamo for final disassembly. Yeah, I can't believe this is the last time I'll ever pilot Ramrod. No more Star Sheriffs? It's weird. I feel badly about this, too. Then why didn't you say no? Because it's our duty to follow orders. There it is. Ah. Alamo. I was stationed there when I was a Star Sheriff cadet. That was before I met April. Oh, she was so beautiful. She was my karate teacher. <laughs> Did I ever fall for her? I told her how I felt. It was no go. She said she had a duty to the new frontier. That's when I walked out on the Star Sheriff's forever, when she rejected me. Now, there won't be any more Star Sheriffs. Revenge is sweet. Well, look who's here. Come to take pictures for your scrapbook, Jesse? They're doing it. I can't watch this! Will the Cavalry Command really wreck Ramrod? And what will happen after it's gone? The fate of a new frontier hangs in the balance. Don't miss the next thrilling episode of Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs. It may be their last adventure.